Tucson family says they're thankful that their blind son is okay after a car came crashing through his bedroom wall. Nine Inner Side Shondrea Thomas reports this isn't the first time. And oh my God, it was, it was, it was unreal. On Monday morning, Wendell Waldron's family woke up to a nightmare. He just got done taking care of my son, putting him in the bed. And all of a sudden I heard a, like a bomb went off in his room. When I went to check on my son, I saw a car sticking inside of his room. Someone crashed this black car into the side of his home on South Camino Grande, coming within inches of his 27-year-old disabled son. The impact destroyed this wall and shifted his bed. Then I had to get my son out of the room. He's legally blind, mentally challenged, does not talk, and he cannot walk. He has to be in a wheelchair. And to make things worse, the driver dumped the car and took off. There was no one in the car when I went out. The family had a similar crash in December of 2012, and that driver hit the same area of the house. But Waldron says Monday's crash was more devastating. I'm really happy that my my son is alive. To almost take somebody's life away from them, it's unbelievable. K Gun 9 reached out to Tohono O'odham police and were told that crash is still under investigation. Meanwhile, the Pima County Sheriff's Department assisted tribal police in their search for the driver. Why was he running? You know, it's like really, it's like you do something wrong, just stop. A GoFundMe page has been set up to cover repairs and expenses to help keep the family safe in the future. I plan to buy about well, four large big boulders and park it right there in front of this wall so this will not happen again. Shandrea Thomas, K-Gun 9 on your side. Now, K-Gun 9 on your side.